a lot of elements that was going on. First, I think this team, no one knew what the starting lineup was going to be. So it's the first, t- it's the first time they've probably played like that together in a big tournament. So you've just taken 11 there, a right back from a different football club, put him in midfield, taking a guy who plays as a number 10 from another football club, that's player of the year. Yeah, that's voted player of the year by by unanimously by by writers and players who believe he's the best player in England at the moment. And he's played, not only he plays a left wing, he's now being told, yo, play the right wing. But I'll tell you what, one thing. I think England have to be very careful. Very careful. Yeah? Giuseppe, you can't play Gordon. You must be joking. You you must be joking. The fact that you said that, that that's laughable. To play a guy... Oh, Hey, are you joking? Not. Bro, there's, there's level to this game. I've seen football being played for a long time. You need elite players. He was let down. If you're not biased today, he was let down. Because let me tell you one thing. And I'll criticize a player that you guys are playing. I, I know you're laughing. It's a fact. And I'm going to bring it up. Bellingham was a great player. But he wouldn't do that, Madrid. You know what he was doing today? Christ. I'll tell you an example. He... Foden will pass it to him. And I've seen Xavi Iniesta, one, two, one, two. Xavi Iniesta, Alonso, you play football as a team sport. Have you played football, guys? Have you seen a guy that takes the ball and says, give me the ball, let me run on it? Do you not get angry? Do you not say, That's Yo, what your man did, though. I'm here to play football. I pass. Bellingham hang on a minute. passing to him. Hang, hang, hang on a minute, Hamza. Hang on a minute, Hamza. Hang on a minute, Hamza. Hamza. Are you seriously criticizing <laughs> Jude Bellingham's Jude performance tonight? Jude passing him several times, 100%. Are now, you okay? Now, mark my words. England, be very careful. Football is a team sport. Remember I said... You, you said Jude football was football man of the match on your watch. It's not about star players. Each player have to know... You literally that said that. You player. literally just Don't said... Hold on, Hamza, Hamza. You said it's not great. about yes. star players. Yes. And then you said Golden can't play because he's not a star player. You said what you literally <laughs> said. The guy passed to Bellingham multiple occasions, asking for one too. Hamza, Bellingham, who was the man of the match today? Drive. And you think, where are you driving to? Bro, pass it. And you criticize Kane. Kane never, Kane never had service. Kane never had service today. You're blaming a player who never had service today. What a uh, he never had service. Hello, the have? Bowen Cross. See, Hello? I'm being non-biased today. Our play, England players were great, everyone. But we need to See, make sure... Not everyone. Hamza, Hamza, I'm going to say this now. But Jude Bellingham was not greedy. Jude Bellingham was absolutely everywhere. He covered every blade of grass. I agree with you. There wasn't a great deal of service that came into Harry Kane today. But it was also because Harry Kane was being nullified out of the game. Serbia need credit for that. The substitution should have been made earlier because we should have tried something different. The same with, listen, I'm a massive fan of Phil Foden. You know that when it comes to the debate around where he ranks against the quote unquote Sackers, Palmers, etc. in the Prem, you know he comes out number one for me. So there's no bias in that. He didn't have a good game though. And what will happen versus what should happen will be different because Southgate is a bottle job. But we should be at tournament football, you have to start you have to reward performances. You have to give people place positions in the team based on meritocracy. You actually go back and watch Argentina at the last World Cup. A number of players that didn't start the first game worked their way into the first team and they went on to win the World Cup because the first performance wasn't good enough. And listen, to blame Phil Foden's poor performance on Jude Bellingham in your eyes saying not you passing it to him, one. that for me is shameful. That is shameful. Go and watch it, Terry. I'm telling you now. I watched the game already. Yeah, but did he not see every time he was being passed the ball? Bellingham would ignore him, I swear to God. And you know what? He'll never do that. Stop course. swearing. Never, never would he do that at Real Madrid. Because you do that to Modric and Cruz, you're sitting bench. You're sitting bench. Because he knows Southgate it will not tell him off. But second half, he, he, I started noticing he was passing the ball. Bellingham is wow. an incredible player, but we have to learn to pass to each other. Because we've got elite footballers. People are coming out like, oh, Foden, drop Foden. Do you think France would? Do you think France wanted to drop Yori Jokaev and Zidane and all that? When you got elite play, you play them together. You just don't. Foden not Zidane. I've never seen a football club that say play Anthony Gordon for for Foden. You drop Foden, a player of the year for but Anthony I, Gordon. But I can I can give you an example of where that works. None of us would look at Olivier Giroud as an out and out world class club level football player, but yet he led the line for France to a World Cup and was arguably 
if not their best in their top two or three players that tournament. And you wouldn't look at uh, Olivier Giroud and go, here's an out and out world class player closer for Germany. At club level, nobody spoke about him as being an out-and-out world-class football player. But for Germany, he delivered. Now, I'm not saying Gordon will do that. But this notion that we should pick the best players based on how they're rated in the Premier League is crazy. And I'll give you an example. In we did That's what England did with the golden generation. We consistently pick the quote-unquote quote quote best players and not the best team. And that is where England have gone wrong my entire life. We try to pick the best players and squeeze them in. If the manager thinks that Bellingham is better than Foden in the 10 and Foden's dropping these performances on the left, put somebody on the left who delivers and plays there on a regular basis. We have got to not fail at this tournament for square, squeezing square pegs into round well, holes. And if, and, hang on a minute, and if Bellingham doesn't deliver and Foden's sitting on the bench, then you criticise the manager for making that decision. But we can't, we can't keep sticking players... Foden is suffering the same way that um, Paul Scholes did. He's moving one of his best technical players out of his position. Either drop him oh, or play him where he's meant to be. England can't keep behaving like this because it will cost us in the end, Hamza. Brandon, what are you saying, bro? Couldn't agree more, Tell. Couldn't agree more. Hamza, Hamza can get on this bloody Phil Foden defence league and all that because he's a Man City fan. But the reality is, is he shouldn't have stayed on the pitch for 94 minutes. I don't know how he see the pitch for 94 minutes, in all honesty. Um, I think we'll all sit here and credit Gareth Southgate for actually taking players to the Euros that deserve to go to the Euros rather than just picking his favourites, you know, the Rashfords, the Grealishes, all these players. But you've also got to take that into game uh, in-game management as well. You know, Phil Foden shouldn't have remained on the pitch. And that's just it. If, if you're going to play Phil Foden, you play him centrally or you don't play him at all. We all know that. We all know that his best position is central. We all know that he's lost out on that left-hand side. And for as much as Hamza can say, oh, yeah, but Jude Bellingham ignored him, blah, 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 blah. It's a load of rubbish, mate. Yeah. We offered nothing going down that left-hand side all game. All game. And it's not Phil Foden's fault. You know, Phil Foden is a lot better player than what we what, what we what we saw from him tonight. Yeah. Gareth Southgate, you know, and, and not just that as well, right? The biggest problem with Southgate is controlling games. You know, we we one nil up. Yes, we could be playing better. There was a handful of players that really didn't have a good game at, at all today. Foden was one of them, Harry Kane was another. I don't think Trent was particularly great in midfield. Um, I thought Guy, he actually played really, really well. I thought he was very, very good. Um, but yeah, there's, there was players there that didn't play particularly great. But then when you have to control the game, we was very, I don't know, we just give the ball away really easily. We invited the pressure. And, and, and that's what I didn't like. You know, if you're going to go on, you're going to win the game, keep a clean sheet, and which we did in the end. But like Ham, uh, Hussam said earlier on, this is Serbia. This isn't France. This isn't Spain. This isn't all them top teams. This is just Serbia. And we can't expect to be, you know, giving the ball away in the, in the manner that we was and not conceding goals and conceding chances. You know, we got away with it a little bit tonight because it is just Serbia. 